Zayn Reed, Samin Samitha Save Momu, made in 2011, read in 2014. Pictures are recreations of the old ones that are made in MS Paints. This is a Momu classic. I hope you enjoy. Story by Zayn. This is not my real voice. This is my real voice. Momu was a lush green planet that was inhabited with cats, dogs, and the prey they have. This planet was loaded with rivers, lakes, and streams. There is no ocean on Momu, but there was a great river, which is deep enough and wide enough to swallow Jupiter, as the river was the equator itself. Follow the story to see one of the greatest journeys that a cat could ever have. There was a cat with, that was drinking from the northern pond. His name was Sam, a black and white cat who didn't like it when other cats were greedy or being greedy about mice. There was a castle where a king named Ozzy lived. The castle, however, was colored pink, red, and purple. Ozzy didn't like it and he thought a princess did the decorating, but then he remembered that he had no children. Now he thought the queen did it for Sam. A guard told Ozzy to call Sam to come so the queen could tell about some something Ozzy didn't even know about. Ozzy called Sam. Sam went through the castle to the throne room. The throne room was the room that was painted black on Ozzy's side and pinker than ever on Queen Samus's side. Sam said at the door, Who made this horrible paint? The Queen of Momu, Samatha, was Sam's best friend. She was a pink and red cat who was sometimes greedy for mice. Samatha told Sam about the five monsters wreaking havoc on Momu. While Sam was visiting Samatha, a living fireball attacked the castle. He came to burn the castle. Fireball, the first monster, was red and he was always angry. His temperature was 600 degrees Fahrenheit and he could always make... And he could make fires strong enough to burn anything in its way to ashes. Fireball dashed into the castle and caused a fire off his flames. Samatha cried, We must escape! As they escaped, King Ozzy got burned to ashes. The, ca the castle got burned down, now all I have is my emergency mouse, Samatha whined. Samatha ate the mouse and left the tip of its tail for Sam. Sam ate the tip of its tail. Sam and Samatha were very sad that Ozzy died, and the castle was bur got burned to ashes. The cats met Fireball again. Sam said, What's wrong with you? Samatha jumped on Fireball, making him fall into the great river nearby. Samatha's paws got burned, but did not cause a fire on her fur. Sam and Samatha were walking peacefully afterwards until they ran to a nut. But when they looked above, they saw an oak tree. The oak tree smelled like nuts, and the nuts smelled like seeds. It was a yellow beast in size. The trunk was a stump with honey-colored leaves. It felt rough like the bricks of a wall. The rest of the tree felt like fragile autumn leaves. You could hear the wind blowing and the melody of bird tweets. Noah was disguised as an acorn, and he looked hard. Sam tied him to the tree, and the nut cried, Oh no, my suit is hard, so I can't escape. Oak trees were rare on Momu. Sam walked along and they found someone else. What in the universe did I just do? He was Chatty Charlie, and once he started talking, he didn't stop until he passed out. He looked kind of like a clown. He never took off his clown clothes. He was the only clown on Momu. He started saying, Hey, I'm Chatty Charlie, blah, 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 blah. He kept talking and Sam tied him to the oak tree too. Hey, why did you tie me to a tree? Blah 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 lighty blah lighty blah Sam walked away with Samatha. Later they saw a baby monster and he cried Wah! Baby Monster was basically a monster who looked kind of like a human baby, except his legs were stronger. He could run as fast as a tiger chasing its prey. He ran away and went to the oak tree, and then Sam tied him there. There's not much to him. Sam and Samatha walked peacefully and found Cha. Cha said, 
There's no point of running. I'm just peaceful. Just kidding! Then Chad created a tornado. The tornado was huge! It caused everything around the oak tree to be destroyed. But it was not as big as the oak tree. Chad was on top. Sam escaped to the top of it and grabbed him. The tornado suddenly disappeared along with Chow's hope, and Sam tied him to the oak tree. Sam and Samothos journey ended, and the monsters were paralyzed and couldn't do anything. Momu lived in peace from there on, except the monsters that were still tied to the oak tree. The rope was really tight, so they couldn't escape. No one could, should ever walk near the oak tree, or else the monsters might become excited and try to cut the rope. But for now, they are tied to the oak tree, and hopefully for a long time. That's all, guys. I hope you enjoyed Sam and Sam with us, Save Momu, and Zane's reading. Maisie Zapion, be with you.